I know you guys love it. He's not a huge fan, but let's get him. Honey, yeah. I'm ready for you. It's in the kitchen. Sure. I'm making you cook. <laughs> you guys love it when Steve cooks and um Steve to be honest Steve's been cooking up a storm since the last time you guys saw when's the last time you cooked since the last time you guys saw. <laughs> <laughs> that's the last time that's other than barbecue storm. you know yeah so uh let's put this on you oh man can I read the stuff yet? Oh yeah, that's right. This makes it look like I, I know what I'm doing. Right, and I'm sure you want to pull your towel over your shoulder. Definitely need a towel. Okay. What and am I cooking? Harmless. Okay. Uh, you're going to make the AIP, which is autoimmune protocol, baked spaghetti squash casserole with ground beef and tomatoless sauce. All right. So, <laughs> sounds easy. This, this is, is the spaghetti this is ridiculous, squash. ridiculous, by the way. And you hate squash yep. items. So, I'm hoping if you cook this. I've never made spaghetti. Well, it doesn't matter. This I, is nothing like I that. Made, um, this is nothing like spaghetti. I made lasagna. Yeah, you did. That was hard. Yeah. This might be harder. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, I'm hoping that if you cook something like this, you'll start to like it. Because it'll be like <laughs> science, you know? A, oh, gross. This is going in it? Well, it calls for carrots, and we only have baby carrots. It's spaghetti? It's tomatoless. This doesn't sound good already, guys. It doesn't matter. Tomatoless. Okay. So, here we go. Okay. This will be interesting because I've never made this either. I, need? I don't know. Here's the problem. Okay, the tomatoless. Um, Sauce, the sauce calls for a half a cup of beets, and that's what makes it so red. Cooked beets. The problem is this is all the beet we have. I don't know if that's a half a cup, so you're either going to have to cook some beets. I don't know what I'm doing already, and you're giving me partial ingredients. No, I think you should cook beets. This is going to take all day. I've got... I, when are we honey, eating this thing? Everything you take takes all day. When it's two, we so this? we've got to have it done in three hours. Oh my goodness. I know. But beets oh, are just going to go in the Instant Pot. It's nothing. All right, then. Okay, I, Instant I know, Pot, they take... Here's gonna... the problem. This takes um, like an hour to cook. Just that thing. This is never... We're not eating this tonight. It's yeah. eight hours. So yeah. this, got, this has to go right now, right? Yes, we need to do that right now. When I say we, I mean you. I know, but I don't but know... But I what, might have to help you at least for this part real fast. With it. Um, Can I chop this up? Well, here well, we're going to read this. Okay. Give me my so, instructions. The recipe calls for four cups spaghetti squash noodles cooked al dente, this which equals one spaghetti medium squash. spaghetti squash. Yeah. So I looked up a recipe for cooking spaghetti squash, and there's four ways to do it. You can either oven bake it, so 375, and that's 40 to 50 minutes. Microwave it, which everybody's saying you don't want that. Um, we could, we're not slow cooker pressuring it. I mean, we could pressure cook it though in the instant pot. But that still takes a long time. It that says prepare is prepare squash. That's to prepare it. I gotta prepare it first and then yeah. decide how to cook it. This is high pressure for seven minutes. That's not bad. We could do it in the pressure cooker in the pressure cooker. The beets are what take a while. I'm 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 already confused, so I just need to go one thing at a time. Give me okay. the first thing I gotta do. Well, you're gonna do the uh, squash. Okay, so this it, is my instruction. We'll just stick it in the oven. If we need to hurry up and put it in the pressure cooker after, we'll do that. This is my instructions, right? Yes, and we're doing the preparing of the squash. I don't need to read any of this. Um, <laughs> I need I need to know right now how I'm doing it. A tablespoon of olive oil, me not melted butter. Oh, you will need. I need that. That's ingredients. Yeah, we're the ignoring ingredients all that for stuff. the squash. That, we're not making squash to eat it. We're just going to put it as part of the ingredients. So Is this actually of... called spaghetti squash? Yeah. I just wow. ripped off the label so you can't see it. But wow, Okay, that's what am I supposed cool. to have the oven on? Or what are you supposed to have the oven on? Quick, we need to get that going. We're going to bake it 375. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This is... I'm feeling stress already. Yeah, you should. But 
Looks like I might get to use these magnetic babies. I ground some salt up with this the other day. It was very challenging, but I was able to do it with this magnetic. They're all stuck together. We're already gonna dirty up this pan, so we'll cook that in this. I just, I just need to know when I go. Like, okay. When do I take off? Take off. Okay. How to cook spaghetti squash for, I don't need that, do I? Oh my gosh. I just need to know. Okay, go only to this okay, one, oven bake. Needs. Oh, oven bake. Okay. Heat the oven. It's 300, cooking. It's cooking. 375. Boom, boom, boom. Place the squash on, squash cut side down onto the baking sheet and bake 40 to 50 minutes until it is soft and pierced, easily pierced with a knife. If you have some, Sneak a few sprigs of fresh herbs underneath the cavity of the we squash. Don't have any. Okay. What when the squash is done, flip the halves so that the cut side is facing up and allow to cool for five minutes. So I just cut this in half and slap it on the thing. Well, that's a prepare. Using a heavy chef's knife, cut it in lengthwise and um scoop yeah. out the seeds. Yeah. Discard. Lightly drizzle with um, oh, what is that? oil. I didn't read that. And season with salt okay. pepper. Okay, first let me do the salt. first thing. Using a heavy chef's knife, cut spaghetti in half. Okay, I don't think it matters if this label's on here because um, we're not gonna eat the outside of the squash. That'll work, this'll work. We only have three okay. hours to have dinner ready. Here I go. I don't know what size cutting. It doesn't matter. Okay. 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 Oh, this I is got going. that going, yeah. Okay. So I'm, let me double check. I'm okay. going over to that Squash. Side. To enjoy myself. Using a chef's oh. knife, cut the spaghetti squash in half lengthwise. Oil. Lengthwise. Here we go. Wait. I need these over where I can see, see you. Okay. Okay, pause for this. Pardon me? I'm gonna turn this around so I can see it. Oh. This isn't really a heavy a heavy knife. This one's a little heavier, but I don't think it's the exact knife that they're asking for. I don't even know what a chef's knife is. I don't either, Okay. to be honest. Should I cut? I'm just gonna cut it lengthwise. Oh my goodness. Have you ever cut one of these? Um, I saw something where you should put it like in, <laughs> like in a towel or something. Why? <laughs> like honestly, how, how am I supposed to know that? Like there's some things that you're allowed to I say I just to wanted me. to see how you do. <laughs> this thing is freaking hard. It is so hard, Steph. I'm worried now. <laughs> I can't go banging it around. I'll mess up the thing. So I put it in a towel. What do I do with the towel? I should, I, I have to watch a YouTube video. I'm gonna cut myself with this. Okay. You, you told me to put face. it in the thing, right? Yeah. Okay. You've cut watermelon before. Um, <laughs> Ladies do this alone in the kitchen all the time. Well, that's why they're better than men. Nah. Okay. Ugh. Oh, Steph hates this kind of stuff. I'm not even going to watch this part. Okay. I'm looking away. It's got an aroma, that's for sure. Okay, cut it. Um, oh, there's notes on how to do that safely. Thanks for telling me that. Scoop out the seeds with a spoon and discard. Lightly drizzle. Wait, let's scoop out. First we'll scoop out and then we'll discard. Oh my goodness. The thing is, we're on time. I know. Because and those beets aren't in yet. Should I throw the beets in just to help you? I'm doing what I'm told. I, I can't answer any questions. I have no idea. I have no idea, you know, like how fast I'm gonna go. Ew. Am I scooping it out with the right utensil? I don't know. What, seriously, you don't know? Oh, she's not even looking at it. She You're the one that does all the pumpkins. can't look at this stuff. You're the one that does all the pumpkins. Pumpkins? What am I doing pumpkins? All the things with gross seeds you like mean that. Halloween pumpkins, scraping it out? Yeah, all the two times we've done that since we've married. You wouldn't like what you what I'm doing right now. I'll tell you that much. You would not like seeing this. 
Okay, but I am going fairly fast. Oh, that's a seed. Seed fell. Okay. Man, how do I know when I'm done scraping it out? When there's no more goo, like I no think. no hair in there, or? Yeah, please. It's, it's like hair. It's hairy, though. The whole thing is hairy. Oh, as I scrape it, it creates more hair. Yeah. Okay. That's the, that's the spaghetti. Okay, so I'm going to call that good. And then I'm going to do this one. I should have used a bigger cutting board. Okay. Come on. It's a slippery mother, too, man. Okay. Yeah, we should be done in plenty of time at this rate. Would you use a spoon like I'm doing, or would you do it differently? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I you bet know there's a scooper. I bet like an ice cream scooper would be. You can get one out. Deal. Get one out. No, I'm already tired. I'm already at this point where I just got to keep going. Okay, that's scoop. Pooped. Scoop and poop. Out. Go. Don't stop. Whatever you do, just keep on working. Okay, now, now, okay, lightly drizzle cut side of each squash in half with olive oil. Okay, there's olive oil. That's, that was gross, by the way. It was totally gross. You think it's all right if there's a couple little strands in there? Yeah. Okay, because I'm going to leave a couple strands. Now drizzle, lightly drizzle. It's hard to drizzle when it's a thing like that, right? Just put on a glove and we'll smear it around. <laughs> I like I like the way you're thinking. Oh, there's it's sticky. I like the way you're thinking. Okay. I'm trying to get the camera volume turned around on this thing, so. Oh. Lightly drizzle. I didn't drizzle. I poured. I, I believe it said on the outside. Holy crap. Lightly drizzle the cut side okay. of the squash. Okay. Half with olive oil. Good, perfect. I don't know how light that is, but if that's a deal breaker, then the deal's broke. Okay, now I gotta stick it in the oven. Wait, let me see. I'm doing the oven, right? Yeah. Heat up, is it up to, whoa, it's, it's supposed to be 375. I know, but our oven's broke, doesn't work, remember? Glad you know how to adjust it. I don't, it's okay. not good. Okay, place squash, cut side down onto the baking sheet for 40 to 50 minutes. So that's up to speed right now. The oven is good right now. What are you gonna do with those? I'm gonna place them down on the, on the oven. Did you read that? It says, place the squash cut side down. Hmm. What? Is what are you looking for over there? Right no. Okay, I need a baking sheet. No, I just, um, you can use that. That's what I was saying. You can Glass? use that, because we're gonna use it again. Glass. All right then. You can use a, a baking sheet, that's fine. But didn't it say to put something down first? Baking sheet. Place squash cut side down onto baking sheet and bake for 40 to 50 minutes until it's soft and easily pierced with a knife okay. or parchment. Where, okay. Heat the oven. <laughs> Heat the oven to 375 degrees F and line a rimmed baking sheet or large baking dish with parchment paper. I don't even know what that is. Top drawer. <laughs> My glove drawer? Mm-hmm. Parchment paper. <laughs> My before. glove drawer. It's right next to this. And it's right next to the gloves in there. Okay. All I have to line the whole thing. You just need to make sure this doesn't drip out. Just the size of those. And this won't catch on fire in there? No, it's weird. That is so weird. That doesn't even want to stay down. What's so funny? Something. If I'm doing something that's going to mess our meal up, you have to tell me. I have been. This, yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it says they can touch or not touch. I don't think it matters. Place the squash cut side down baking sheet and 40 foot. 
Um, oh, until, okay, 40 to 50 minutes. Okay, 40 to 50 minutes, I gotta do it in there. I need a timer. Get in. That's weird that that paper is not gonna catch on fire. 40 to 50 minutes. It's 2.16, so it'll be three o'clock. Do we have a, like a timer? Three o'clock will be 40 minutes. And I'm we'll not check gonna it. know when three o'clock comes or goes. I don't, I don't wanna do a timer. Well, I guess I guess that's the answer. Okay. <laughs> Fine, I'll put the timer out. This is no, it's funny. okay. As long, as long as you're making the decision, then I can't get blamed. Okay. Because you won't think about it when the time comes up. I'm going to put it 50 minutes or 40? Uh, 45. Going 45. Okay, now, which, why do I have too many? I have so many instructions. Um, okay, now that one's done, put it away. Beets? Check and see if we have a half a cup. That's what we're checking now. Of beets? Of what's cooked. If there's not, we need to cook beets ASAP. Okay. Where are you going? Get in the cup. No, I put them over here. Remember? Oh my goodness. I thought that was one, but I didn't know it was a half a cup in there. This is really good. Oh wait, one of these might be exactly a half a cup. One and a half. One. Oh my gosh. I don't know which one. I can't magically just grab the right one, Steph. Look at them. They're all stuck together. Which one is three quarters of a cup? Which one is three quarters of a cup? Three quarters you of a cup? You can't tell by looking at Or like a half that. a cup. I'm getting a half, but you're, you're thinking I'm taking too long. Three quarters of a cup. <laughs> right there. I don't know. I can't. Two thirds. Oh my goodness. Half a cup, finally. But these are cool. They're magnetic. I know. All right, so half a cup of beets. Does that mean. Just pile it in or cut them up and put them in. What does it say? Always comes back to that, doesn't it? Instant Pot Beats is the fastest and easiest way to cook. Oh, wait. No. Where am I? Did I get the wrong one? No, get the other one. This one? That's spaghetti sauce. What are you, I need to know what you're talking about, the other one. Okay, it's that one, it's at the bottom. It says a half a cup chopped, if I remember right. And large skillet. No. Downward says tomato list. Oh, oh, ingredients. Ingredients? Maybe. Tomato list. One can of butternut squash. Blah, blah, blah. A puree. can? Yeah, one can of butternut squash puree. Or one cup, three quarters of homemade mashed butternut squash. Half cup of full coconut milk. Three tablespoons of salt. That's where the butternut salt. squash came in. We need to put this in there, too. Half a cook, half a we cup. We need to put this in the oven. I am not touching it. <laughs> this needs to go in there. Chop off a chunk of this. How much do we need? Just a half a, I, a half a you're cup? You're just telling me to chop stuff up, Steph. I have no it's idea. A half a cup? What is this? What is this thing? Why am I using this? What is it? It's a butternut squash. Hurry, we need to get that in the oven with the other one. Oh, this is an Irigoyen? Oh, that's, that's a farm. Okay, so this one... It's not gonna fit. We'll just we'll put it in another pan or stick it right one on top. One can or one cup, three quarters of homemade. We're making butternut squash real quick. I, it doesn't say how to make it. It just says. I know. We're just gonna stick it in the oven like the other one. It's gonna. I'm gonna cook cut it just like that. Oven. Just cut a big chunk of it. <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna have to do the same thing, right? Should I cut that end off? Should I cut that weird end off? Um, yeah. oh it's so weird. I'm not keeping that. Okay. No, what's funny is, um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Am I going to put um, olive oil on this too? Yeah. Are you playing a joke on me? No. Because you're giving me stuff and it's not like it, all of a sudden there's not everything we need. Okay, olive oil, drizzle. Olive oil. Maybe cut that into some chunks. We need it to cook fast. I'm, like this, like like this. Look, you want me to go like this? Boom, boom, and then yeah. Okay. Am I drizzling it? Put your fingers like this. How much do we need for this recipe? Just a half a cup. One or one cup, three quarter cup homemade mashed potato butternut squash. One cup, one and three quarter cups 
Wait, okay, so we, we just one need to cup. gauge this. Is this a cup and a quarter? One and three quarters? It says quarters? one, here's it, I'm reading it verbatim. Okay. One cup, three quarters. One cup and three quarters, one and a third. That's a stupid way to write quarters. that. Okay, one cup, one and three quarter cups of homemade mashed butternut, butternut squash. Uh-huh, I see sweat on your head. But if I'm doing that, I don't know how much of this I need. Okay, Block just it keep up going, now. just keep going. Why shouldn't I have taken it out of the shell? Like seriously, how am I gonna smash this? No, just stick it in there like that. No, just stick it in just this like size? that. This size? Yeah. In the oven? Yeah, but you need to put some oil on it. And do you think that's a cup and three quarters? It's almost two cups, I think you need more. I have no way of knowing. I okay, to... cut, up, cut up the other half too. I have to cut it up to know like, I don't know. Maybe after we cook it, we'll find that out. Uh-huh. And then we can just use the rest for breakfast or something. Okay. I don't, this is not like, this is, the instructions are really weird on this one because they're coming from several different sources and you know that, right? They're assuming you already have some. Some what? Squash? Oh, the canned one. Is this the only thing I got to do to this and then throw it in the oven? And where am I putting it? That thing's full. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Oh, we could put it in the microwave. If we had the microwave, we could do that. Man, this is a hard recipe. I think the main reason is because I'm jumping from one page to another. There's a whole separate direction on how to do this part. I've only got two hours. Man. I know that I don't know what I, I have no clue what I'm doing like not even an inkling because of the directions at least I remember how the other ones I started reading the directions all the way through and then I'd at least have some kind of idea this you're gonna do that we just had to get these things ready so I'm actually doing like several cookings like I'm not just cooking one thing I'm cooking several and possibly beets we still haven't gotten to those okay so now now what do you want me to do I'm all oily now <laughs> What? what was the point of the glove? I don't know, but now that I'm oily, so I'm throwing that in with that? Yes, we just need it to start cooking. I have to try to squeeze it in there? Yeah. What should I open it with? This is all you, honey. This is going to be hot. Oh, in case, like if I'm going to avoid being burned, it would be nice to say something. Sorry. Oh, I forgot. there's a piece of sticker on that. On the, on the, uh... Squash. <laughs> Step on that one I put in there. Wait, do I do that face up or down? I would do the, um, I don't know. <laughs> We're winging it. I tell you what. You're think? letting all the air out. What, what, what do you want me pan? to do? Get the pan over <laughs> here. here. Okay. I don't know. Oh my goodness. This is an emergency of fast or slow. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> and I'm letting, yeah, I'm letting all the heat out and I'm covering up my work right there. Yes, you are. It's not a good thing. This, should... is, this doesn't look right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now what? I don't know, which, which, can you at least tell me which one okay, to use? Okay, now we're on to, we need to find out if we have enough. Um, Just tell me which one to read. That one. Butternut squash. Okay. We, no, we need Half to. Half a cup. We need to find out if we have enough beet. Half cup cooked beets. Yes, that's a cooked beet right there, but I don't know if that's a half a cup. Half a cup diced cooked beets. I think it's gonna be close. You don't wanna touch that. I don't. You will never get it off. The beet stain? It's major stain. Will it go on, will it come off of uh, that? It doesn't matter, I it's orange. Some permanent gloves. Did they make that? Yeah, it's called skin. <laughs> you just told me not to touch it. Okay, here we go. All right. I'm gonna, I gotta use everything. Oh. What? That almost looks like a, um, a hema, hematoma or whatever. I'll, I, I'll hold this for a second because I, I might have to drain juice out of there. Okay, here we go. Dice it up. Just dice it up. What does it say? No. You took my no, thing. I, okay. It says. I'll read it. Uh, but you took Cook it. beets diced. Tell me how to dice, because I'll dice it. I'll dice it like so. 
You just put your fingers like this. That way, the knife would hit here. You won't cut yourself. Yeah. Please easier. be enough. Way easier to cut than the, um... I think we're gonna make it, don't you? We're gonna be close enough, I think. Yeah. Is this something gonna where make every, it. all the pieces need to be the Thank same? Thank goodness. I don't think I could handle you having to oh, cook. there's more, more than enough. Okay, good, we're using all that. Just shove it all in there? Just to see if it's enough? We got enough. I don't oh. think we need to shove it. Okay, shove it. Yeah. Do you wanna save these for something else? No, we're gonna use them all. Okay. Just put it all in there. We're just gonna call that good. Where am I putting this? Well, let me see my doing just put Just put it somewhere on the side or something. Oh, you know what? Is this is this cutting board gonna contaminate anything else? And should I get a bigger cutting board? I would, well, I think you did all the hard stuff. Well, no, you got some cutting coming up. Okay, but do it. Just throw that in the sink. The cutting board? Yeah. Oh, there's one more beat behind it. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> You can eat it. I could have eaten it. I yeah, know you love them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now, boom. I'm going to get a different cutting board because I'm going to be doing some cutting. Now, let me see my directions, please. Okay. Now that we know the panic is over. The panic is over because the beets are there. We have enough. That's what the stress now was. I, am I going to this? In a large skillet. Like, where am I at? <laughs> read all the ingredients first. Just read them. Four cups of spaghetti squash noodles cooked al dente. I don't have that. We're going to make those, right? Mm -hmm. We're making them out of what's in the oven. So I go past that. One pound of ground beef or any other ground meat. Ground beef. Okay. And this is exactly a pound. Okay, one pound of ground beef. Two tablespoons of coconut oil, we got that, right? Mm -hmm. Two tablespoons of salt, one cup and a half of onions diced. That's the one. So I read the ingredients and as I come to one that needs work, I do it now. Yes. Yes, okay. So that's... Mise en place or whatever it is, remember? Huh? Mise en place. Mise en place, sounds familiar. Okay. But I don't remember it. That's um, where you prepare your ingredients, get oh, them all ready. Oh, Mise en place. Okay, so one cup, one and a half cups of that. Okay, I'll get that out. Oh, first. wait, I saw a hack, and I don't know if it's true. If you, you take, want me to try a hack? Yes, okay. I don't okay. even know how to do the non-hack. No, I, Amanda just sent it. If you take a wet paper towel and stick it next to it, supposedly, the um, the smell all goes, gets drawn oh, to... Oh, you just set it next to it? Yeah, it gets drawn to the closest thing, which is wet, which is your eyes normally, but if you get a wet paper towel and stick it next to it while you're chopping onions, okay, you won't cry. Let's test that out. I know. That sounds scientific. Yeah, I guess. We'll see. I would leave a lot of water on there. Just make it. Okay. I don't want to make a big mess in my work area. I like how Should you I got beat, beat hands going on. <laughs> Should I set it right here? Yep. Okay. Okay, one and a half cups, and my onions have to be diced. Is there a trick on this part? You're on your own, money. I can't do it all. I just feel like there's a trick to get this skin off of this thing. So I'm going to take both of these nipples off and then I'll just kind of work it. I might need to use my hands because I bet there is a trick though. So. I'll tell you what, that napkin's not working really well. It's I'm not, not. I'm not crying yet. I got yet. goggles. Nope. Oh, I'm a professional. Okay. But I feel, I do feel like, um, actually, you know what? It started out with some fumes, but now I'm not feeling super fuming David here. And I never know when to stop with this skin. Look. Like where or where? Dang it, I know there was a something that you guys either told me or showed me a trick on the onion thing. I just, I don't remember it. I cooked a lot of it. stick with me. But this isn't easy. This is this is taking too long. I'm only doing one onion, one onion so far. Come on. 
Okay, there we go. Miso Plus. Hi, buddy. Hey, should I take my gloves off? Do you do it without gloves? I do. Let's go for it. All right. Oh, um, you know what that's gonna do? My hands are gonna stink. Okay. Boy, I'm going exceptionally fast now. Got it. I wish I knew how many of these I need because I'd like to do this first and then start chopping the heck out of them. But I don't know how many it's going to take to get, you know, the, the proper amount. So I'll just have to keep going like that. That. I think the napkin might be helping a little. Maybe if I chop it in half, that was this hack. What? Like chop this in half and then the skin will come off easier. I'm gonna do a couple before I dice it. One Putting up a camera and a half for my expressions because you know how yeah. I feel about all this. And cup and okay. Like this? Mm hmm. I'm dicey. It's dicey to rock the round to rock the round. Hmm. I think if I do a smaller, I don't I would be careful if I'm holding a knife <laughs> and I'm slicing, like reaching in and pushing my stuff around. Because his fingers can be lost. You okay. Don't Be allowed to ask you to hand me where'd my cup go because i've got the the half cup i need the do you have in your little group there a one and a half cup size oh wow if we have i don't want to touch them all with it one and a half cup size yeah wow. these are the best that is fantastic like seriously that, that's just perfect and all those things are together i know you know my dicing's gonna be a little sketchy, right? It's gonna be a little dicey. My dicing's gonna be dicey. Is that okay with you? I fully expected that. Okay. Well, guess what? That one onion, <clears throat> I think it's gonna take one and a piece. Oh, oh no, I haven't done one onion. Okay, I'm looking good. Got another trick now that I've seen how these things react. I'm gonna try that one, triple that up, and Set it on the side, it's easier to handle. And I'm just gonna do it like this. Dicey. That's actually excellent. Really? Those are really good. Seriously? Yeah, those are very nice. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Way better than I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> well, I have had some experience with a knife. And here we go. Okay, that's cut. I might get it with this one onion and I skinned that one already. I think you're gonna need it. Okay. I wish I was real good at doing this part. You know how they, like Benihana, those guys, whoa. Oh, they would have had that done in I know. a second. <laughs> it would have been like, rrr, rrr. can I taste it? Rrr. And I flick it in <laughs> Honey, this one onion's gonna do it. I don't think so. Do you see how high I am? Yeah, but I like things heavy in onion. That has nothing to do with the Keep recipe. Keep going. Oh boy. Look at that. I'm there. Keep going. I'm gonna you touch already have, the exact amount I'm supposed to you have. You already have beet onion going on there. You might as well use some but of it. But that's what I'm supposed to have. Okay, just do a little bit, like yeah. a half. A half? Probably, half of the whole onion, probably. Probably. This one, I did it two different ways there. Now you're gonna see some dicing. Not faster, but just because of that extra cut. That's gonna be some diced onions for you because they're your favorite. 
They're going in with ground beef. I love ground beef with onions. Don't ask me what I like, but whatever. Smash them? <laughs> you can't smash it any more than it is. Okay, that's a cup and a half. Yeah! It's gonna be more than a cup and a half now. One cup of carrots, diced. Everything's getting diced around this place. I'm doing a medley? Sure. Okay. Might as well get some colors in them, yeah. put the rainbow in. And if you gotta eat them, this is very heavy vegetable spaghetti. Very heavy on the vegetables. Would you like to try a gadget? You know what? I gotta get going. Yeah. What am I, am I See if that'll cut it. Here? I don't know if it'll cut a carrot or not. Let's try it. Okay. I made a pop. Oh. There you go. Wow. You can place a bunch of them on there. there you wow. Have I know, where was that during your onion, huh? That's exactly right. The onion would have been nice through Oh, that. but, I mean, you could cut those maybe in half. Cut them lengthwise in half? Otherwise, they're going to be tubes. You're talking about lengthwise like this? Yeah. What's wrong with a tube? I don't know. I don't know what the recipe's asking for it for. Well, don't be a tube hater. If it's just going in, um, well, we need it to cook fast, too. Just put them in like a tube. That one's small. Okay. I mean, that's, I'm doing it like a tube also. Tube it. Okay, so we're worried about the tube because what difference does it make if it was a round, round dice or a square dice? Oh, I want to play hard to get, huh? That's pretty good. Oh, is that a measure? Wow, this is the English side? Yeah. Everybody wonders what gadgets are. Ooh, I handy. got ways to go. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have, hey, I'm, some of these are gonna be tubes. I do have this I can throw in there though. Yeah. This is part of it. You know what? Wait, what am I doing? Am I dicing this part? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I got all this. Just lay them on there. I just got distracted because, ooh, I think that was an onion. Yeah. I can just throw a whole car 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 carrot on there. I can't even speak. Oh no, I need to cut it in half. But that's easy. Close enough? Yep. Ooh. Okay, yeah, this is a good... It's a this, good gadget. This is a lifesaver. Yeah. Let's just say that. Two cloves of garlic, crushed and minced. You don't need to crush it, you just mince it. Which is the mincer? That thing I just handed you. Oh, so you mince it first and then something, and then they crush it? No, there's no crushing needed if you have a mincer like that. Is that a clove? Because it's peeled. Mm-hmm. And I got uh, two cloves of it. Discus. Can I toss it in with that? Oh wait, I, I don't, don't know. I don't know either. All right. Okay. Yeah, because that's good for Teflon. Well, it won't cut it like that. Boy, that's a that's a strong aroma right there. Three tablespoons of. Herbie's de Provence. <laughs> Two, Peaches and who? Peaches and her. Oh, H E R B E S? Herb? Peaches and herb. Peaches and herb. Okay. So this is three tablespoons of Herbs de Provence. <laughs> herbs de Provence. Does this thing have tablespoons? Yes. Wow. You went from. You go from a quarter of a tablespoon to... That's a teaspoon. Quarter of a teaspoon to whatever. Two cups or something. And, and they're all together. Three of those. Cap. That. Quarter cup. Quarter cup of water. Quarter cup of water. Three quarter cup. Quarter cup of water. What am I going to do with the water? What am I going to... I put it in something. That's what I'm saying. Just leave I know, it in I that. Even, 
Should I have read everything that's going to happen? Before Leave it in there. <laughs> if I need, if, look at all the, the measure I have. <clears throat> I know. If you need it, you can decide then. That isn't full, more, but whatever. More water to take the, uh, okay, the aroma. Fine. Okay. Man. Three small cans of mushrooms drained. We're using real fresh mushrooms. You got two different types. I know. I love them so much, but you need to wipe off the dirt if there's dirt on them, so. On the mushrooms? Yes, they're very tedious. Well, Three cans down. of mushrooms drained. I don't have any idea. No, we're not doing cans of mushrooms. We're just doing fresh mushrooms because I love them so much. And I don't like canned mushrooms, it's gross. But do I chop these up or what do I do? Yeah, you're gonna first wipe them off. Individually, just wipe these things off? You, yeah, you're just getting the dust off and stuff. Why am I running underwater? They get weird and slimy. So I gotta wipe wipe them off like this? Are we being serious? Oh, That's I what I do, it. yeah. I see the dirt. Yeah. What the heck? But no, those baby bellas are brown, so you're getting some of the brown off. Just oh. get mainly what looks like dirt. Am I like sitting dirt. on a napkin or anything? Whatever. And I usually rip off the stem. Boy, there's a lot. What, the canned recipe sounds awesome. I know, but whatever. I don't even this know how much be to better. wipe these. I don't know, did, like, should I use a rag? Because look, how, how much of that is dirt and how much of it is a... Uh, I usually nutrients. go from the head of the mushroom and wipe toward the edges. Okay. They make a mushroom brush, but I don't have a one. mushroom anymore. brush? Yeah. This is a serious business you're in. Okay, that's one package. Okay, good job. You think I'm gonna do another one? Um, I have no idea what to do here. I love mushrooms. Let's get a couple more in there. I have a hard time believing we're gonna be eating this at five o'clock. <laughs> I just, that's just blowing my mind, the whole idea that we will possibly be eating spaghetti that I'm making that I haven't even, I'm not doing anything yet, except I threw some phallic symbols in there. Got those <laughs> things cooking, I mean, seriously. I can't believe that this is gonna be spaghetti by five o'clock. Now I gotta dice them up. Okay. I don't know if it's diced, it just says. <clears throat> They're sliced in um, That's how they do when, in, the can? in the cans. Yeah, they're like a, a slice. Okay, guys, you're gonna get sliced up right now. That's safe. That's safe when I'm chopping stuff with my fingers in there. Peace and plus. Okay. In a large skillet over medium heat. Okay, first let's get the large skillet. I think you should use the um, Dutch oven. The Le Creuset Dutch oven. You know what those are. I know what it is. I just couldn't remember when you said it. Oh, it's right in front of the... Oh, um... I see it. I'm all right. Yeah. Okay. That's less mess for me to clean up. Or you to clean up. Oh. Jeez. How heavy these were. In a large skillet over medium heat, add one TBSP. Do I put the heat on? Are what? Read the whole thing for whatever part you're doing right now. In a large skillet over medium heat, add one. Loudly. In a large skillet over medium heat, add one tablespoon of coconut oil, ground beef, and one tablespoon of salt. Wait, teaspoon of salt. Cook until there is no more pink showing in the meat. About eight minutes. Save the meat in a large bowl on the side. Using the same pan, place once again over medium heat. Add one tablespoon of coconut oil, diced onions, carrots, garlics, herb of the province, and water. Cover in some, okay, so in a large skillet over medium, I'm gonna put this on medium heat. And now I'm gonna do that, but I need um, a large bowl. I'm gonna place it in a large bowl on the side. A glass bowl. It's only a pound. Of, yeah, that's fine. Use the big bowl. Whoa. And you can go heap in with it. It wouldn't matter. Whoa, this is nice. It's fine. Because it's going to be hard to get out. Coconut oh, oil is no joke, man. Ow! Ow! Dang it! Okay, 
Okay. Note to self. Don't touch the hot pan. Yeah, the pan's hot. So avoid rubbing your finger in the bottom of it. Okay. <laughs> of what? I don't know. Use the thing you said to smash it. That's your smasher. This? That's your beef smasher. What is that? Like mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Hey. This, okay, I got my salt. I got everything in there right now. Just double check. That's all I was doing. Okay, let me get that. Pink Sean. Save the meat in a large bowl on the side. Okay, this I'm just gonna get this to where there's no paint and I'll stick it in that bowl and then um, then I'll go to the next step. You can read what's next while that's cooking. Using the same pan, place once again over medium heat, one tablespoon of coconut oil. I gotta do it again. Diced onions, carrots, garlic. Curve to the province. Cover. Where's the freaking mushroom? Cover this simmer for 10 minutes. Okay. I got the mushrooms with my with my uh, onion and carrots. Oh, there's the onion. I gotta get the mushrooms out of there. All right. Whatever. Yeah. I'll do. I'll do this. You go pee. I'm fine. I can hold this for days. <laughs> Yeah, but you're doing the potty dance. No, but that makes me more like, hey, my brain's like firing off, like, gotta get this done. Okay, Dean. Just wait until I don't see any pink. When I don't see any pink, then this is nice. I, I don't feel the heat on that handle. You will. Certainly feel it on the inside and the bottom. <laughs> 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 it's got some serious heat on the bottom of that thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking that looks good. Yeah, it'll brown more when it cooks together anyway. Ooh, steam, steam face. TVSP, this one you can be generous with it. Yep. I'll put my finger in there this time. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Nice onions. Things sound like dice. Yeah, it does. Okay. Garlic. Okay, garlic is in. This is cover and simmer for 10 minutes. Stir oh, it occasionally. Did... Oh, right now, just cover it? Mm hmm. I don't have to stir it up at all? Well, yeah, stir a little bit. Get okay, it all get, covered up. Let me try to get it all covered up. And then simmer. So simmer, would I turn the heat down? Um, yes. I would put it down to low. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah. Looking pretty good, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's actually looking, I feel like I'm making something. Look at this. Low? Yeah, low. Because it's pretty hot in there. Yeah. Okay. Can I set that in there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Next. In a blender, add butternut squash puree. I'd say these are done. Oh, I got it. What am I going to do? I don't even have room for this. I got to puree that? No, this. Oh, man. I forgot puree all about it. It's just in a blender. It's just going to go in there with it. I forgot all about that pretty stuff. pretty good. We'll puree these. And then we'll add the other ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay. Man. You guys can see all this. So you want to blend this? And then come back and add the other stuff? Yeah. 
here. Right now. By the way, look where we got this. Starbucks. Yep. It was one of theirs for their frappuccinos. That's why it says Vente on the side. <laughs> Coconut milk, salt, hold on. Beets, gelatin, butternut squash. Okay. This tells you how many times it's been used. Twenty-one thousand two hundred forty-eight <laughs> times. We've done a hundred times probably. Oh, oh man! Oh my goodness! Fuchsia. That is gross looking, Steph. I know. Like seriously. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I thought it was gonna cure you, but. It's the beets. Yeah. The beets are, oh man. This looks like we pour paint in there. It does. Doesn't it look like, just like paint. Purple paint. Purple paint, purple paint. It ain't easy, y'all. But look, it does look red now, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's mellowed it's out. It's less fluorescent pink. The color definitely mellowed out. Mix together spaghetti, squash. It doesn't tell me how to do the noodles. Though. Okay. That's, that's Bring that thing. pan over here. Kind of warm. Grab some towels or something. <laughs> okay. Now. It doesn't, there's no instructions on the pan. I know. I think she assumes everybody knows how to do it. Do you? I've only seen it and maybe done it once. You've never done it? I don't like squash. I, don't, I mean, I like squash. I just don't like... Um, Can't we just eat that? No. Okay. Now you got to... Okay. Take those out. Are they too hot to touch? They're freaking hot. I okay. want to get a fork or something. <sighs> These are hot. Watch the steam come off of this thing. I see it. Okay. Now grab the parchment and just lift them out. Where am I putting them on the table? Right next, yeah, on the counter. Look. Okay. Working strong too. Yeah. Now let's put the pan in front of it. The what? The pan in front of it, so we can see what you're doing. The pan. This pan. This is what we're cooking it in. On this side? Yes. Yeah, so why we didn't you have me take it out to that? I one? was meaning that, but you didn't do it. So. Oh, the pan is hot. Man. Now what? Okay, now get um, a fork and a towel. Okay. The towel? Mm-hmm. Because you're going to be holding that. Oh, like when we cut it in half? Mm-hmm. Am I going to cut it? No. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to scrape this thing for hours, right? Well, I think it scrapes pretty fast if it's done right. Try a little scrape and see what it looks like in there. Am I just scraping lengthwise like this? Yeah, we just don't want the skin, and the rest is fine. Like, am I scraping deep? I don't yeah. Know. Like that? Uh-huh. And then put it in here? Yeah, looks like spaghetti, huh? It does. Like, I can go through there real easy. Yeah, I know. It's not going to be days. Okay. You could use a fork or whatever, too. I mean, a spoon or whatever, but... Well, this is... I think the fork I separates think so too. a little. Yeah, and doesn't crush That's it. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Isn't that really? amazing? Yeah. That's something that grows. Somebody thought this up. It looks like spaghetti. Is Putty down there? Look, it still came down like nothing. Oh, came I thought it fell. It does look like spaghetti noodles. It does. I can't believe it. Faux spaghettio. Come on, don't don't mess up now. You're doing so good. It's a hot mother, man. It's hot. Okay, I'm still scraping and flinging it. I don't want those pieces in there. Why? Because they gotta um, be inside something. Look, see that? Isn't that bad? No, I just taste it, it's fine. But that's kind of thick. Okay, whatever, don't put it in then. Okay. It doesn't matter. We're cleaning the counter anyway. I can't believe I'm doing this with this, but look at that. It it's does, too hot to hold it. You gotta do something. It does look like noodles. Like, uh, it is so weird. I know. I'm giving, this is my baby. 
Yeah, as long as I do it like that, it'll splash on top of itself. This is a professional, like the way I do it. Yeah. This is how everybody should do it. Right, I'm sure they do. Like you're holding your baby. Pull down enough. It's going right back in, so you can just leave it. Okay. Whatever juice. I better check the thing out there. That wind is... <laughs> That'll maybe wind. cut out some of the sweet. Okay, Steph's gonna get the spinach out, but we want to taste this as is, as is because you know. Right now, it's not, it seemed like it's it definitely was not pretty bland before. spaghetti. No, you know I mean like there's no the noodles are gone. I don't. Yeah, the noodles. Test this yet. It's, I don't know if you see that smoke coming out. This is hot. Smells good. Oh, I was waiting for you. You could eat it faster than me because. It, I can't handle the hot. I know. Even temperature hot stuff can handle. Right? Too hot for you. Hmm. Hmm. That's good. I'm glad I put the extra hamburger meat in there. Me too. Or whatever meat it was. It was hamburger meat. It is right. way better. You mm. know what? That's pretty good. good. On a dish like this though, it needs a spinach. Don't call what it, about this? Don't call it spaghetti. Just sit, you know, just say what it. Try that first. It's this, because it it tastes good, but I don't want to be anticipating something and not having that, you know. Mm-hmm. But mm. it does taste good. I was worried about it. Wow. The color and everything was kind of putting me off. That prosciutto gives it some salt and um, mm. some more salt. All right. Let's give you. Let's put more sprinkles on top. And we'll get out our, um... That's good. Yeah, that's really good. I could definitely eat this for breakfast. And we might. put a little, uh, spinach on here. And we got a nice meal. Aren't you glad that the spaghetti part disappeared? Yeah. It's in there, but I think it just cooked that's away. That's what I'm saying. Bush. Don't call it spaghetti. Call it like a... I see a couple little strands of spaghetti. Is a stew? Yeah, I'd say it's like a goulash now. Yeah. Yeah, goulash. That's a good way to say it. See that prosciutto on top? Can't go wrong with that. No. And we'll eat a little spinach with it. A lot of spinach with it. And uh, the stress, the stress is over. It was stressful. Honey, this isn't going to be as funny as your normal video because you didn't mess up. You didn't well, do anything wrong. It, it's you did just a good a job. Cooking video. It is what it is. I know. I've learned a lot. But I'm very impressed. Thanks. You got more spinach than me, I think. Take some. That's good. Okay, dinner. Dinner. Enjoy your life. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.